the Hershey's Kiss. The most well-known piece of chocolate in America, or perhaps the world. But have you ever taken the time to think what the history behind this little ball of chocolate is? Well, for the next four minutes, I'm going to tell you the story of Milton Hershey, Young Chocolatier. Back in the 1850s, the Civil War was starting the hunt for gold that California Gold Rush was ending. And right in the middle of it is where our story begins. September 13th, 1857, in Derry Church, Pennsylvania, a man by the name of Henry Hershey and a woman named Veronica Hershey was giving birth to a young man that would change the world. Milton Hershey. Born and raised in central Pennsylvania, Henry Hershey was a big influence on his son. The tall, handsome man was always determined to win big and become rich. With those thoughts and dreams, Milton had a strong passion to do the same, although it did not seem that way in the beginning. By the time he was 30, Milton was nearly bankrupt after losing his candy shop in Pennsylvania, so the young inventor moves to Denver to learn about caramel making. Afterwards, he starts two candy businesses in New York and Pennsylvania. The one in New York fails, the one in Pennsylvania is a success. And because of the such good business in Pennsylvania, Milton was aware of the growing demand for chocolate. Milton decides to visit the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago to learn more about the making of chocolate. Afterwards, he started the Hershey's Chocolate Company in 1894. In the 1900s, Milton finds the right formula of milk, sugar, and cocoa that enabled him to introduce the Hershey's Bar, and sells his caramel company for $1 million. Then, in 1903, he moves to his hometown and builds a new factory in which was his reason of success. Milton Hershey never kept anything near and dear to him other than his beloved wife, Catherine S. Hershey, who had gotten married to Milton in New York City on May 25, 1898. After a long and happy marriage of traveling the world together, Catherine died in 1915, following a long and debilitating illness couple with no kids and Milton never acted the same. After the death, Milton always carried a picture of her with him. The young entrepreneur also started building and during the production of Milton's factory, he built homes for all of his employees. Milton Hershey also realized that all work and no play made for unhappy workers. So by 1910, Hershey's Park was born and expanded to include a children's playground, a band shell, a swimming pool, a zoo, and a bowling alley. Hershey also added amusement rides, such as a model railway and carousel. Milton Hershey also built a sports arena and was constructed to house the local ice hockey team. Originally named the Hershey Bars, the team quickly changed to the name Hershey Bears. Before Milton's death, he managed to build the MS Hershey Foundation, and today this nonprofit foundation funds the Hershey Theater, Hershey Museum, Hershey Gardens, and Hershey Community Archives, thus playing a valuable role in the financial and cultural life of the community. With the death of Milton Hershey in 1945, the Milton Hershey School Trust contributed $50 million and land to the Pennsylvania State University for establishment of the Penn State Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. It has emerged into one of the nation's leading healthcare facilities. For the farm boy who never had as much as a chance, is providing an opportunity for others to have what he never did. To get more info on Milton Hershey, check out the book Milton Hershey Young Chocolatier by M.M. Ebach.